welcome to another exciting episode of Production Line with me, Coco Gansa. Our spotlight for today is on kinchers. Rattans are climbing palms exploited for their flexible stems that form the basis of a significant market for king and king product. The most important product of the rattan palms is cane. This is the rattan stem stripped of its leaf sheets. This stem is solid, strong and uniform, yet it's highly flexible. The canes are used either in whole or round form, especially for furniture frames or split, peeled or cord for matting and basketry. The range of indigenous uses of rattan canes is vast, from bridges to baskets, from fish traps to furniture. We will be exploring the making of chairs. Stay with me, the process begins after this break. I told you earlier on we are going to discover how a cluster of carpenters weavers and craftsmen producing various forms of artworks using locally grown rattan at an intersection of a busy road in cantonment a serene suburb of ghana's national capital Accra, is a cluster of carpenters weavers and craftsmen producing various forms of artworks using locally grown materials like cane rattan bamboo and seagrass This is where Kwejo Adomakon works as a master craftsman and a secretary of the Cane Workers Association comprising of over 80 members. He developed interest in the vocation at a very young age and has since acquired experience in the craft making all sorts of furniture and baskets from cane. Kwejo has over 16 years of experience in the skill of cane and rattan weaving. This has been his source of livelihood and that of his family for many years. The raw material is a plant called willow which is bought from the western region at a cost of 10 Ghana cities for one. The willow is then peeled to a smooth surfaced cane. To achieve bending shapes of the willow, minimal heat is applied to the willow. So he has to bend it to this to, yes. before it can bend. Bend. Okay, so after he bends it, then what will be the then, next step? Then he will cut it on the pieces. Okay. Then you to bend it. You see the one that we have here. Okay. Yes. This is yes. Before you get this. Before you get this. Yes. We have a measurement and everything here. So we gauge also. Then yes, then when it is correct, so then he's bending market, to this yes. like this. Yeah. So after he bends it, then you cut it. Cut it the way you want it to go and flame it. You okay. see, yeah. The canes are smoothened to various measurements to get the right size before cutting. Various sizes of the cane are needed for the different parts of the skeletal framework of the furniture or item to be woven. What he just burns is what he's cutting to. Cutting pieces, do yeah, this. to, to okay. do this. So after that he measures it and yes. cuts it and, and nails it. Make, yeah, nails, nails on, it. on it. Then you need to make sure that the thing is flame is all right. Okay. Yes. But won't, won't there be any circumstance whereby he's framing it in? 
Like the thing will just pour. You see this one is opening there. No, you see, it's just, this is just yes, flaming. Yes. So we are, we are going to tie it all okay. over the joints. Okay. Then, then after we, that, we then we weave it. Okay. From here, we will then move to the weaving process. The cane is further peeled and sliced into strips, which will be used for the actual weave. At the setting stage, the stripped canes and poles are set around the frame before the weaving begins. Water is then applied on cane strips while weaving to make it soft and to enable weaving smooth. The ones that you have hold it is poles. We okay. call this pole. This pole. Pole, yeah. So you have the, now. Now we are doing a setting. A setting, yeah. So this is called this stage is called a setting. setting so stage. setting stage. So we are going to set the, the whole then the whole thing. of a, a flame. Okay. Then after that we are coming to weave all so let's bring this one by one. So one after the other. So it goes one one. After it's been done, won't it come off again? No 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 or no since... it will no no it will you see this is the flame, so it will touch the flame, so okay. it will not to remove it. Not remove yeah, no, no. Okay. What and weft are woven by hand to begin the process, followed by weaving individual strips through a series of drilled holes around the perimeter of the chair seat and frame. This is called a flat. A this flat, flat. Yeah, flat, the one that you okay, use. Okay, but since th this is soft, soft than this one. Than this, okay, yeah. so what, what, what do you use the flat for? You use to to weave the, the flame. Okay. Yes. So let's use the flat okay. and see how it works. It is. Okay. So you want to start by okay, yourself. Yes. You, you can you you can you can practice. Okay. So you this, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. And the next one will come again. Yes. Down. When it is going in, then it like comes out, out. Okay. in and out. In and out. Yes. When asked about some of the challenges they encounter when weaving, Kwejo said unpredictable weather conditions is their main challenge. We don't, we don't have any challenges, but only the, the, the weather. If the it weather. is yes, if it, the weather is is dry, then the thing also coming dry. Then it to be it to be broke. It will be ah, broken. it's so, be breaking. Yeah, breaking. Okay. Yeah. So. The weather is your main, main challenge. Yeah, challenge yeah. Do you have the market for it? Do some people come in to uh, buy it or some people order it? Yeah, yes. Then you do it in a, uh, on a large scale for them. You can go and display about the roadside. Okay. Then the people will come, come to, buy, to it. buy it. Then at times, people also to come and order it. Then we oh, do for them. Yes. Okay. So how regular does it come? How often? Um, it's normal. I think it's normal. They used to come. So yes. how does the business like flourish during that time? How is it like during some festive season that someone will come in and Okay, madam, you know something? If it is a Christmas, I think it's better than the, the, normal. the, the, the normal ones that we are doing. But we put the Ghanaians that we are doing a good, better job here. So we are opening our doors. So we have to come to buy it. So, that we can. so as you say, this, they this, are doing this, a good job here. Yes, so they are opening their doors yes. to many people, people who can come yeah. in to buy as many or as much yes. as they need. The weaving process continues where wide binding canes are woven around the seat dwells of chairs and rocking chairs using very wide strip of cane forming a double layer of weaving. After the weaving process is done, the chair comes out neatly. After the weaving process, this is how it will look like. Bamboo is cut into pieces to cover the holes beneath the chair. This is what the bamboo. The bamboo. Then if it is. Um, empty like the one that you have seen in there yeah. then after that we have coming here to 
put, to put the bamboo on, on it, it, then the holes are very close to close it. Then you couldn't see it if it should be too big of it. So with this later, then yes. you, you put a cloth. A cloth. Mm -hmm. You put the foam you and you sew a cloth, a cloth, to, cloth to, to put it on it. Then it will be strong. You see how it is. Once the product is done, furniture polished is used to clean, protect and shine wooden furniture. After polishing, which takes two hours, the product is left outside for the sun to dry it properly. Nice upholstery fabrics are sewn around cushions and other furniture accessories. Finally, a beautiful handmade cane chair is made. According to Kwejo Adumakum, a full set of cane furniture is sold for about 2,500 Ghana cities. What are some of the challenges you go through in terms of selling? The challenges that we are having it here is the people didn't value what we are doing here. Okay. Then when they come, they think we are getting this kind of materials from the from the bush to do this. So they think the price is, um, is very lower, but it's not that. You see, when you see the things we are we are doing here, you see it it is it's very very quality, and the, and then you see how we sew the. Yes, the, I, I can phone. see it's very yes, quality. It's very, very I mean, quality. this is very heavy. Yeah, heavier. Yes. Is it not something like the tiny thing where you are going to use it, then it will go to spoil tomorrow or the next? It will be last. So you want so, people to so value we, what Yes, you so they want to. I want them to value what we are doing here. It will take about three weeks or one month to do a set like this. Then we treated everything. Then now I will call it. The Ghanaian people that what we are doing they here is, made is, in yes, is good. Made in so it's better for us to buy our own things here. So this is made in Ghana. So when you come here, then you buy it. It will not bring you any any fault of that. Then you can use it alone. So production line is also trying to promote made in Ghana. Since we have other beautiful stuff people do in Ghana, we try and explore it and get into what they are doing to feel it and see how it comes out. So this is what production line is all about. Do people come in with people to train them to go through maybe a training of one year before uh, yeah. later they become experts? Uh, yeah, when you see when you see it here, we have apprentices and the boys they have coming from other far to come and to come and uh, learn, uh, learn it. It, yeah, to learn it. So we we are here to ready Everybody, we are opening our doors. Everybody, when we come in, then we we, we learn them to know how to to weave it. Then we are appealing government to give us a, a truck because we are we are association. We have a, a big association here, so we want government to give us a big truck to go and and to get our materials to come and use it from the village to go and take the materials from the. They are also appealing to government to get them a big truck to be able to load the materials from the villages or the forest where they cut it from to bring it here to be able to produce these things. But I can't live without asking him how this costs. When I uh, uh, say how much does it cost? Uh, oh, this, you see, actually, you see, it will cost about maybe 2,500. But it's expensive. This. Oh, yeah, not too expensive. So how, how many chairs is in the set? Is the set? One, we have, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, it's seven. We have um, we have a single 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 stool, then three seater, and uh, two seater. Oh, okay. so, so there's seven. seven people to sit at okay. a time. Whether it's a tiny basket, a furniture, or anything in between, the weaving industry produces some outstanding craft. This has been Production Line with me, Coco Gansa.